today, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Beauty and the Blacksmith by Tessa Dare. Uh, there will be some spoilers. So this, as a novella, you actually do need to read the other books before you read this. Otherwise, you're going to have no idea who these two characters are. It deals with uh, Diana Highwood and Aaron Dawes, who's the blacksmith in Spindle Cove. This, this is the, like, book 3.5 in the Spindle Cove series. It goes between um, A Lady by Midnight and um, Any Duchess Will Do. So Diana Highwood is the eldest Highwood daughter. She's the older sister of Minerva and Aaron Dawes is the blacksmith and he actually does he actually does stuff in the previous books somewhat. Not necessarily with them interacting so much but he does some things so you get some of their, their character development. And you could you could read this on your own but you'd be you wouldn't under, you wouldn't know who Diana was. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't be as exasperated, I guess, with her mother. You get a lot more characterization. And normally that annoys me with romance novels. Um, but as a novella, I can understand because you're going off of pre-existing characters and just going through it. Uh, you can read this on your own. I, I, I think I've said that. You can read this on your own. It, it, it's it's about 150 pages. It's not. It's not it's not long, but it's also not too short. It does give you more character development into them. It gives you the most character development you will get with these two characters. They don't develop a ton, a ton of stuff in the previous ones. It's more with the mother that's where a lot of the character development is, so you understand what they're going through. But yeah, um not a whole lot to say about it other than it is a really nice, sweet story. And it's as good as probably the previous ones and I you know it, it's just it's nice it's nice to see a lot of these characters get their happy endings so I you know I really liked it the, the sex was good in it um this is the print version this one uh, I believe is also probably available for like 99 cents um for any e-readers uh this is also four dollars in print this is a better value than um, the scandalous, uh, dissolute, no good, Mr. Right. Because um, that one was a lot smaller. This one's significantly larger. Although, don't be, don't be, um, don't be fooled. This is only 150 pages. The rest of this 50 pages is the first couple chapters of Any Duchess Will Do. So it's not as long as you think it is. It looks like it's like 200 pages. It's not. It's not as long. Um, but it's a really good supplementary story to them. And it doesn't really have any bearing on the next book. It's just a nice wrap up for this character that you've been hearing about for the last three books. And so yeah, I, I would recommend it. The used bookstore will probably have it. Don't pay more than a dollar for it. It's not really worth that much because it is a novella. But yeah, I uh, hope you found this helpful and I will talk to you later.